Welcome back, friends. Um, the author, Ashley Franklin, has done a spin on an old fairy tale. We know all about Snow White and the Seven Dwarfs, but this is not quite Snow White. And it's about a, uh, it's a story about a little girl uh, who wants to take part in the Snow White musical. So this is Tanika, and the author dedicated this to my mom, the queen who taught this princess that a golden heart is worth much more than a silver spoon. The illustrator dedicated this to every girl who dares to dream. Now for Tamika, it was always the right time and place to dance and sing. Tamika had a hip rolling happy dance, a swayful, a swayful sad dance, a stomping mad dance, and a hair flicking just because she felt fabulous dance. She sang hi uh, with the tweeting birds and low with the creaking frogs. And she always shared her love of music and movement with an audience, whether they be stuffed or unstuffed. Sounds like fun. Well, Tanika loved the stage and it was a perfect place. She was the star of every show and she loved every show that she starred in. She had been a cucumber, a space cowgirl, a dinosaur, and her favorite part was a singing mermaid. Now on stage, Tamika felt like she could be anything or anyone that she wanted to be, but she never had been a princess. But now she would finally have her chance. Snow White the Musical, auditions tomorrow, it says. Tamika was so excited that she had went to both days of auditions for the Snow White Musical. On the first day, she arrived super early. She helped friends with their lines and she kept count of the dancers and shooed butterflies from nervous tummies so songs could be sung. And after the audition, Tamika heard some of the other girls whisper, she can't be Snow White. She's too tall. She's much too chubby and she's too brown. Tamika looked at her legs. They were long. Maybe the kids were right. A princess shouldn't be taller than her prince, should she? And then she looked at her belly. What if the kids, maybe what they said was true? She couldn't remember any chubby princesses. And Tamika looked at her skin. She was brown. How could a girl with brown skin play a princess like Snow White? Could those kids be wrong? Maybe she was wrong for wanting to be the princess. Tanika slouched and she sucked in her belly and she tried pulling down her sleeves, but there was no getting around being brown. For the first time, she didn't feel like singing or dancing. At dinner, Tanika didn't tap her feet or clang rhythms with her spoon. Is something wrong? asked her mom. The other kids said, I'm too tall, too chubby, and too brown, and I'm not right for Snow White, said Tanika. Well, you've got it all wrong, mom said. You're tall enough, chubby enough, and brown enough to be a perfect princess. Besides, said her dad, Snow White is just pretend. You've always been my real princess. And you're just enough of all the right stuff. He kissed her forehead. Tamika smiled. Maybe her parents were on to something. So at the audition the next day, Tamika watched all the other kids get on stage and do their best. It was Tamika's turn at last. She remembered what her parents had said, but her long legs, they were still a little bit jittery. She closed her eyes and imagined she was singing and dancing for her favorite audience of friends, both stuffed and unstuffed. And then she remembered the joy that she felt when performing and Tamika knew that she could do it. And she did. She shone like the star she was. She could act, she could dance, she could sing. She loved herself as much as she loved music and movement. Tamika was a perfectly poised princess. And when her audition was over, Tamika looked, at, looked out to smiling faces. And Tamika wasn't too much of anything. Maybe she was just enough of all the right stuff. And that's the end of Not Quite. Snow White. I hope you enjoyed it. There'll be some more activities for you and Flipgrid. So till next time, stay well.